What is up guys, welcome back. Today I wanna to show you how I remade a super nice animation from Min Pham's website. He actually won an award side of the day. So it's a good opportunity of taking the approach of classical arts by remaking the work of a master. I used 3GS, Frame Motion, and Next.js to remake this animation. And I'll go step by step and show you my thought process and the techniques I used to come to that result. And by the way guys, some Discord members and I came up with a creative menu challenge. If that interests you, come join us, we can all learn and push each other's. So the first thing I did was to create a Next.js application using the app router. I created an earth component and initialized a 3.js canvas with a sphere and an ambient light. Honestly, the sphere kind of looked like it came from Minecraft, so I made it smooth by changing the number of height segments and width segments using the args props. And after that, it was time to work on the texture. I scavenged the internet to find the best earth texture, went on Photoshop, put it in black and white, and I adjusted the contrast. But it still wasn't that good looking. So I overlaid a cloud texture with a low opacity and added a normal and occlusion maps for the continents only, which gives a nice sense of sharpness when in relation with the soft clouds. And also just like in photography, lighting is key. So I tried multiple positions for the directional lights and I found something decent. And then I wanted to rotate the earth on scroll. So for that, I used frame motion and the use scroll hook with an offset covering the full canvas. And since the rotation values are in radians, I directly used the progress of the scroll, which is a value between zero and one as the rotation Y value for the sphere. But doing it that way makes the rotation directly linked with the scroll, which is not smooth. So to make it look a bit more professional, I could have smoothed out the progress of the scroll using the use spring hook from frame motion. That would have been one way of doing it. But I eventually just created a smooth scroll component that wraps the whole page and initialized a lens scroll, making both the animation and the scrolling smooth. And finally, I knew all those textures would be heavy to download for the browsers. So I added a next dynamic import where I render a screenshot of the earth as a placeholder while the earth component is loading. And after that, it was time to work on the on-scroll clip animation of the titles. I started by rendering the titles based on an array of objects. I added the use scroll hook from frame motion and use that progress inside a use transform hook to create a clip progress. But that value cannot directly be used as a clip path style since it's an object and not a number. So I had to integrate that object inside a use motion template to effectively use it as a style. With that, I had the clip animation, but I wasn't satisfied with it. So I created a variation between the different clip animations. I added a speed value to the array of objects, and then I used it to modify the offset of the use scroll hook effectively changing the speed of the animation. And then I added a copy of the titles and put it in position absolute to create a shadow effect. And finally, I had the last animation to do, which is the hover animation. I also used the array of projects to render the titles and the descriptions. I added a position absolute on the container to overlay the titles on top of the existing ones. And I also added a crop function to shorten the titles that were too long. And then I needed to find a way to animate a component when hovering another component. So I created a state in the parent to track which project is hovered, putting the setter inside the titles component. I could then use the selected project value inside the description component to conditionally render a clip path styling. And then I added a simple CSS transition and it worked perfectly. And with that, I completed the animation. I hope you learned something. I learned a lot doing it. I hope you did too. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.